Hi guys, my name is Alyssa Rogers. I'm the lab manager for Dr. Skip and I'm going to show you guys today how to make a thermogel. So first we heat up 100 milliliters of water into a beaker on a hot plate and you heat it up to about 70 degrees Celsius-ish. And then we have one gram of hyacinth gel and gum that we're going to add into the water and mix it as we're going. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. We slowly mix it in to give time for the polymer to hydrate. So we'll just kind of tap it in here. And then once you get it in, you're gonna go ahead and mix it. Normally I'd use like a stir bar and turn on the magnetic stir. But since you guys are gonna be doing this at home and you're gonna be mixing it by hand, I'm gonna do it like that for you guys. So you just mix it until you can't really see any polymer. And then you're gonna add more once you think you have it mixed good enough. So it's gonna be kind of difficult, but you just gotta keep on going. <laughs> and then you do this until you add the whole one gram in. So we're going to continue to do this and tap a little bit of polymer in and stir and we will show you guys the finished product and when we pour it out when we are all done adding in the polymer. Okay guys, so we just reached the finished product and we're about to pour it on some saran wrap into these um, molds that we made with the 3D printer. We're just going to stir the last little bit up with our whisk and make sure you use some like heat barrier and we'll just pour it straight onto here and give it time to solidify into a gel and we'll just pour the rest off to the side Okay, so now we're just gonna go ahead and give it time for the gels to cool and form, uh, kind of solidify there. Um, it should only take approximately about five minutes. Um, once they feel um, room temperature to the touch, that's how you can tell that they're solid. Um, I'll show you them when they're done cooling and then we have made a thermogel. Okay, so those five minutes are up and the gels have cooled off, so we can go ahead and take this mold off. And as you can see, we have nicely formed gels here that I can pick up off the saran wrap. And we have a thermogel.